guys, it's me, it's Chelsea, what's up? Um, this is gonna be the DVD haul I bought at Walmart today, adding to my already huge movie collection. See, this is the first movies I bought in 2016 that were December holiday themed. Yeah, so let's get started, guys. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my Claire's tree earrings that I bought a really, really long time ago. And then my Claire's headband that I just bought yesterday for like $10. And then my George um, 2015, this is my ugly tree. Christmas t-shirt or ugly Christmas sweater jumper kind of thing. It's like a fleece. It's not a knit sweater. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I bought How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the animated edition, and it was $7.49, did I say? 97 cents. I only own this one on VHS, so now I own them both on DVD. Perfect. Again, I bought these all at Walmart. <laughs> you know, I have a funny story. I actually can't find a few Christmas movies. And some of which are the Home Alone series. I owned like Home Alone 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, yeah, it was really irritating me that I didn't, couldn't find them. And I'm like, they are Christmas classics. I cannot not have them um, around. Like, that's just the way it goes. So I actually replaced them at Walmart yesterday. And I spent 20 minutes trying to find Home Alone 3 and 4. But Walmart had none. <laughs> so I got Home Alone 1 for $5.97. And then Home Alone 2, also for $5.97. Um, yeah, but I also just bought this one on uh, digital copy as well for a little bit more than $5.97. I think I paid $8 for it, but it was originally $16. But yeah, it's interesting and fun fact, um, Home Alone changed the um, backdrop. Backdrop, Kevin here, the cover. Um, it was originally had the Twin Towers in the background. I actually owned the VHS copy, but I gave it away a few years ago, um, and that had the original Twin Towers on it, and, uh, another fun fact, it, it don't, I think they kept the scene in the DVDs, but if you watch it on TV, they cut out the part with the towers. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't quite know why, like, I can understand that it's kind of, like, a little bit unsettling, I suppose, to see it, but... It's not like the movie talks about Twin Towers, like, and they were a visual landmark for quite a, a long time. So I, I don't quite know why Home Alone 2 had to go so, so Trump, not trumped up, so um, far into, like, erasing the Twin Towers from their footage. Um, but yeah, I believe they're still on the DVD copies, they're just not on the cases anymore. I'm super excited for this one. This one was $5, and it is The Simpsons Christmas Collection. And it has five episodes. Five out of their... <laughs> I would love to know. I know they have a Trigger House Tower of Terror episode every year. And Simpsons have been on for like 20 years. So I'm imagining they have more than just five Christmas specials. They're probably like a collection of them on DVD. But I own five now. And then this one was $9.97. And it's another one that I had on VHS but didn't have on DVD. And it is a Muppets Christmas Carol. Another classic. And then last but not least, I another kind of like movie I loved as a kid was Beethoven, about this big St. Bernard dog. And I found Beethoven's Christmas Adventure for five dollars. I've worked it out. I have to read three novels a day and watch five movies a day. That's when I had 81 left to go. But now I have 80, 2, 3, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6, 8, 7, 87. So I think now I have to watch six a day. But yeah. Last year I watched like something like 212 videos or movies that I logged on my letterbox profile. And I did not log every single thing because I didn't log like t TV specials that I watched for Christmas or little things like that. So like yeah, 212 and by frick, what was it? December 10th I'd only watched 28 movies or something like that. And so I'm so behind. I'm so behind on reading too, it sucks. But I didn't expect to go into the hospital and then deal with the aftermath and still feel like so crappy, but whatever. So yeah, these are the movies I bought so far. I'm sure I will buy more. Um, I haven't been to Pentagon in a really long time, so I haven't been near the $5 bin, and I haven't actually really bought movies since I purchased $300 worth of um, movies from the movie store when it closed. <laughs> so yeah, after that huge binge, I think I got like 60 movies all in like three weeks. So I haven't really felt the need to buy
buy movies. I also got The Hunger Games yesterday, um, so I'm pretty sure I didn't buy it. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot of franchise movies in the moment in my DVD collection. I own something like 700, probably 800 DVDs. No, more than that. Probably like, yeah, 900, it's all in 900 I own. Um, and right now, because I purchased so many DVDs last year in one go, they no longer fit on my shelf. Like, they weren't even fitting on my shelf to begin with. Um, on a good day. It's the DVD corner. So now they are, like, half... Like, I have 200 sitting in a box in my basement. But yeah, I'm trying to keep the Halloween ones and horror movies all together, and then the, um, Christmas movies all together. Which kind of failed, because I'm missing, like, a several, including Home Alone, like I said. Anyway, my name is Chelsea. Again, thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day and you find a reason to smile because smiling is important. Bye, guys.